Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Sea of Darkness. We are in Marcus, or there we go again, Magnus's cabin. Um, and I don't know if we went to the bathroom here. Well, we can't go to the bathroom. Okay, so never mind. We need to solve this dog toy puzzle. Um, so let's see, each row and column and diagonal contains exactly two of each toy. Okay, so this is kind of like uh, Soko, not Soko Ban, Sudoku. Both puffins are to the right of both dogs. Okay, so... I'm going to assume that this means that there's one puffin there. So how do you put a second one? Oh. Oh, wait, both... Okay, there's six and there's three. Okay, I, I see. Alright, um... No adjacent toys of the same kind. No ponies in the left half of the cupboard. So the ponies have to be all on columns D, E, and F. The first two toys in the row are a dog and then a pony. Wait a minute. What about this puffin, though? The first two toys in the row are a dog and a pony. The dogs are last two toys in a row. Wait, I'm confused here. So, if the first two toys in a row are a dog and then a pony, that means there's a dog on one of these. And then it says the dogs are the last two toys in the row? How would that work here? There has to be two of each exactly on each row. Pony and Puffin alternate in the last four spots. Oh, this is for specific rows. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Let me put this back. All right. Both puffins are to the right of both dogs. Okay, so the puffin would have to go either here or here. No adjacent toys, no ponies on the left half, just for column three. Okay, so that means pony there and pony there. Uh, dog and then a pony. Okay. And then the dogs are the last two toys for row five. Okay, now I get it. Then Pony and Puffin alternate the last four spots. We don't know what it starts and ends with, though. Okay, so the Puffins are adjacent in column A, so that means that it has to be either here or there. Dogs are at the top and bottom of the column B, okay. The middle two spots are dogs. Both togs are somewhere above both ponies. Okay, so we had we know where the top one is. We don't know where the bottom one is. So both dogs are somewhere between the ponies. Which means that I think the pony would have to be here. Mirrored pattern across the center. Does that mean there's a pony here and then there's a dog there? Hmm. I'm going to assume that that is the case, which means that there is a puffin there and a puffin there. Which means that, let's go back to the rows. Pony and puffin alternate in the last four spots for row six, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, and that means that the dog goes here. Let's see, both puffins are to the right of both dogs. Okay, so that goes there. No adjacent of the same kinds. Well, it's a good back to that. Uh, puffins have to go here. And then... Well, we don't know anything more about that. And don't know anything more about that. But, okay, the puffins are adjacent. We got that. Dogs are top and bottom. Middle two spots are dogs. Both dogs are somewhere above both ponies. I'll have to assume that there's a pony here and a dog there because of that. Which means that there's a puffin there. And then both dogs are somewhere between the ponies. Mm. Oh, wait. We now know that that has to be there and there. Okay. Which means that the puffin is here and here for column E. And anything else? Okay, here. We can figure out that the pony goes here. Which means that puffins go here and here. And then finally, 
for this one. Oh, wait. No, we can't have three of them. Ugh. Okay, I messed up somewhere here. I messed up somewhere here. Ooh. Okay, so this has to be correct. Puffins and ponies. Okay, road. Okay, column two or row two is obviously wrong because no Jason toys plus there are three puffins. Okay, what is wrong with this? Ooh. Okay, this it, it has to be this. There's three dogs here, and that's wrong. Okay, let me take these out, because we know that these... Let, let's just remove those, because we know that these are right. Okay, I'm just going to do my counting here and make sure that at least the number of each thing is correct. Regardless of position, we'll just make sure the number is correct. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else that's wrong with numbers, so... Okay, row two... See, I was going by the, um, the one that was missing here, but here, okay, that has to be a pony. Okay, so that's keeping with, um, the rule for this row so far. Oh, man, um, column C and D, the middle two spots are dog. Okay, so this has to be a dog. Oh, both dogs are somewhere above both ponies. Okay, so that means that a puffin goes here, and that means that a pony goes here. Is that not right? I don't want to back away and then have to start over again. Ooh. It seems like I got the number of everything right. Yeah, I don't really see what I got wrong. Well, let's just run it through all the rules again. Both puffins are to the right of both dogs. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe... Maybe by both puffins are to the right of both dogs, I had to put two dogs and then two puffins. Maybe that's the issue. I mean, that dog has to go there, which means that this puffin goes there. Is that it? Hmm. Oh, I feel like I just broke this. Okay, let, let me restart. Alright, so puffin here, puffin there. No ponies in the left half. Okay, good. Which means that they're both here. Dog and then pony. Dogs are last two toys in the row. And then Pony Puffin alternating the last four spots. Okay. Puffins are adjacent, so either there or there. Dogs are at the top and the bottom of the column. Middle two spots are dogs. Both dogs are somewhere above the both ponies. Both dogs are somewhere in between the ponies. Alright, and then mirrored pattern across the center. Okay, so that means this, basically. I think that was what was messing everything up. Alright, so here we're just missing a puffin. Which means that we need to put a puffin there. Okay, so let's go back through the rows again. Um, that makes sense. No adjacent toys of the same kind. Dog and then pony. Okay, so puffins go here. Puffins definitely go there. All right, that's good. Um, that's right. Okay, dogs are last two. Pony and Puffin. Okay, so Puffin and then Pony, which means that there's a Pony there. Excellent. All right. So Puffins are adjacent. We got that one. Dogs are top and bottom. Middle two spots are dogs. We, okay, we got all this stuff. It's just the first three columns that are the issues right now. Okay, so here we need to put a dog. Okay, that means that there are ponies that go here and here. Which means that there are puffins that go here and here. And that also means that there is a pony that goes here. And then... Let's see. 
Puffin there and Pony there. There we go. Excellent. I wonder if anyone else has seen these. Uh-oh. Okay, so this seems to be a conversation between Dagny and Magnus. I see there's a lot you haven't come clean about with Elizabeth yet, eh, Magnus? Looks like my track record's not the only one with a, sm a few smudges. You gonna tell me what's in that footlocker? Not a chance, Dagny, and I'm going to be upfront with her. I just need to find the treasure first. Cash first, honesty second. A man after my own heart. I like it. Stop that! I'm nothing like you now. Did you get the toy made or not? It's going to- it's got to be rawhide. Sumi won't touch the stuff. Aw, oh, look at you, all self-conscious. Sure I got it. The key to open the toy is under Toomey's carrier on the ship. I tried to drop it off with you last night, but you weren't around. I was down at the docks. I just need to find a tool to scrape those barnacles away. But once I do, I'll have caught up to Lawrence. Finally. How strange that after years of devices and contraptions, that it all should come down to scraping detritus off a piece of driftwood. Bravo. I need to know you're with me, that you're going to see this through just like we talked about when we started this project. We have a saying in the States, in for a pound, penny, in for a pound. I'm with you, just don't forget you need me too. You try to cut me out and you'll see just how fast I can get mean. I'm just nervous, I guess. Someone's definitely on my tail. What if they catch up to me? Magnus, focus. Whoever they are, they're not your biggest threat. I am. I have no patience for spineless cowards. You disappear for more than 24 hours, and I'll gladly burn your ship to the ground, then use the smoldering blackened remains to torch your cabin, too. Don't mess with a professional. You've always had my word, Dagny. You still do. No need for that. Good. Then we're done here. A from med smoldered. Hmm. Dagny sure likes burning things. Okay. Interesting. So, Toomey has a chew toy that's really important. That's done. Um, I want to go back to town for a little bit because there are some things I need to take care of that I've um, realized are important since the last um, recording session I had, and I guess this was just for getting the decorations, so let's not worry about that. Alright, let's go ahead and leave for town. We're done here. The first thing is going up to the captain's quarters, or down to the captain's quarters, because I didn't apparently solve that triangle puzzle right. Because remember earlier when we were trying to push down all the pieces of wood and we didn't push them all down and then we got the easter egg? Yeah. So I, I think I have to push all the pieces down. I'm going to at least try that and see if something happens. Um, hopefully I can actually try it. I hope the easter egg didn't preclude that possibility. So let's go in here. Uh, that was on this side, wasn't it? Okay, good. Get all the wooden sections pressed down. Alright, so let's try to do this. Man, I like this music. This is cool music. Yes! Got it. Alright, what do we got here? Dear Elizabeth, Hi, miss you. Kiveta, M. Magnus, the entire point of the exercise is to communicate. That means long letters. If I only get to see you once a week these days, we'd better make it count. Remember what we talked about? This is good for us. Okay, I'll start. This week, I booked an audio rep for the Ancestors Festival this year. Soren is, as usual, making it difficult, double-checking every invoice and worse. He takes organization to smothering levels. I can tell he doesn't trust me at all anymore. That hurts, but at the same time, I can't help but wonder if there's more to it he isn't telling me. He seems protective to a fault. My old roommate, Asa, wrote from Paris. She sends her love to you. She's still doing the backpacking thing. I admire how free she seems. I don't think she'll be home for the holidays this year. Hopefully you will be. I want to finally put up a tree this year. Can we do that? Can we get a tree and decorate? It will be all ours, just you and me. Isn't that cute? Love, Saida. Elizabeth. Fine, we can get a tree. No to decorations. Never decorations. The limericks book is coming along well. I think I'm onto something niche. But I miss Skiprot. I miss the dog. And also, you. When I return, I'd like to borrow the Lang spill from the Misty Skip. Kvedia, M. 
Man, Mark Magnus, you are not very good at this letter writing thing. Magnus, where's your sense of holiday cheer? And fine, I'll limit myself to two strings of light. You'll like it once it's all done, I promise. You always have. No, you can't take the Lanksville out of the pub, love. It's great-grandmother's, and I won't want it broken. What do you want that old thing for, anyways? It's just an antique. I doubt anyone's played the thing in years. Ooh, we have to check out an instrument in there. Speaking of the dog, Toomey and I are on a classic war film marathon. I watch for the plot, he watches for the horses. He jumps up, barking, and presses his nose to the screen whenever they run past. He's a cute one. I'm glad you let me watch him this time. Lots of love and kisses, Elizabeth. Magnus seems pretty insistent over this longspiel thing. Longspiel is how you pronounce it. Okay, I need the longspiel. Please, I promise to take good care of it. I'll wait until the festival's over to have a look. I'm being quite serious. I love you too. Stay warm. Kavadya, M. Alright, so we need to check out the longspiel. But before we do that, there's another puzzle here, which is this. Okay. Time to play some pins. The thing is, I didn't look at this after uh, looking at the notebook. Um, let me get that. This. E, V, F, W, all that stuff. So let's try to see what happens here. E. And then let's see. V. Let's just play connect the letters here, I guess. Or I guess we don't even need to connect them. We just need to put pins on them and see if they form a shape or something. W... M S R D C U J and L 14 This is one of the sounding numbers Magnus was looking for. Okay, great. All right, we got that. So we explored Can't the Check that off yet. We didn't explore the cabin. That's done. We did that. That's done. We did that. That's done. We did that. Check. Yes. Okay, good. Um. Did that. We did that. Okay, good. Check. Excellent. All right. Still have, haven't done that. Wow. Okay, what are we missing with those? All right. So I think we've done everything we can check off, basically. All right. So we've got 14 as a number. Hopefully no one will notice that we we're just putting that there like that. I kind of wish Nancy would take that down so that no one can follow her tracks. Okay, so in the meantime, let's move on. I kind of want to check out the crow's nest now that we've found out something more about that. We're making all kinds of progress here today. Okay, I don't want to go to the lighthouse just yet. I have a feeling that we're going to have to go back there for that other puzzle with all the panels there at the bottom. Or on the walls, I should say, on the bottom of the walls. What's this? Okay, so this is another flyer for the ice caves. Was that what I had to look at for the, um, the port? Haven't done that. Okay, I guess not. That book mentioned this crow's nest. Maybe there's something here. Indeed. Aha! What's this? Hmm. This looks similar to that note I found in Magnus' journal. Note in Magnus' journal. Divide the board into group of, groups of six with no group touching each other. Okay, I'm confused. So we place some down and some up. Is that how it works? Okay, I want to see Magnus' journal. Is this... It... No, I don't think that's it. He it, That wasn't a journal. That was just a random piece of paper we found. Do we have a picture of his journal on our phone? I'm trying to remember where this was. Okay, not that. Okay, that's the... Wait a minute. The crystal thing. What was the crystal thing we got? I forget. Um, hmm, that's just for the locator. Huh, I don't really know what he's talking about, but let's do this. Groups of six, with no group touching another. So, okay, I'm a little confused here. Does this mean that, like, 
Huh. Okay, so that's one group. Two. So I had to put down ten groups of six of the wooden things. Okay, so it's just the, the, the dark wooden things, nothing else. Okay, let's just work with that and just try some random stuff here. Okay, good, good, good. Maybe connecting them isn't such a good idea, because we, we need to make sure we get enough of them. Okay, so we need two more, and I have a feeling that we didn't do this correctly. Okay, this almost certainly needs to be the case here. Except, oh, that's there. If I, if I could put this here and then have a zigzaggy one, that would be amazing. But I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, let's do this. That. Oh, that's there. Urgh. Oh, and these are here too. No. Oh, it's, oh, man, the designers really thought of everything here. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Maybe I should relocate some of these to here. Oh, I want to be able to do stuff there. Maybe I can do that, and then, oh, if only I could do that. I think that's a lost cause. Let's not worry about that. Well, wait a minute. Maybe not. Maybe I can put that there, move this here. Okay, hang on. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Ah, okay. Hmm. If only I could just move this here. Maybe I need to connect these two? Let, let's try that. Okay, let's try that. And then let's do something across here. Except that's looking kind of a little bit iffy too, isn't it? Okay, let's try that. I bet there are multiple solutions to this, at least in, probably in amateur sleuth mode. Ooh, this looks kind of hairy. Ugh. Okay. Okay, good. Ah, uh, okay. There we go, okay. Okay, so we're down to four now. Let's get rid of these there. I'm gonna guess that this needs to be... Ooh. Okay, that could be connected, but that kind of limits our options for this side. Hmm. Maybe this needs to be connected to all this stuff. And the, these here need to be connected to each other, maybe? Let's try running with that. Except I'm going to do... Wait a minute. Ah, oh, that's not going to work, is it? Why? Okay, maybe I can just make this its own thing. Okay, that leaves two left. I feel like I've done this the completely inop, like, just wrong way. Hmm. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about this. Let's try that. Or no, hang on. Let's try this, actually. There. Okay. Okay, so now, 
yeah, I've definitely done this wrong. There's one more that I can put down, and I haven't quite maximized the putting space in between stuff thing yet, because there's one empty one here, one here, and yeah, it's it's not good. Let's start over again. I think if we just start with a clean slate, this will be better. Okay, so we need to fill out as much as we can on the edges, I think. I think that's the idea you're supposed to run with here. So let's try that. And let's try... Ooh. Let's try at least that for that over there. Alright, I'm just going to try to like get the edges in first. Like that. Let's just see how this works. Hmm. I feel like that's not exactly making good use of this area, but... Oof. Okay, good. Okay, this is a problem. Oh wait, no, maybe it's not a problem. We got five left, and I'm not feeling too confident about having a buffer of two spaces there. That doesn't look good. Maybe we need to do something a little different here. Hang on. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's try connecting that, and then we'll put in... Hmm, I don't like that either. Oh, really? I got this whole area here. I mean, you really cannot waste any space here. You really cannot. Okay, so five left. Tell you what. Let's make that there. Okay, that there. Okay, I feel like we're getting somewhere here. Except I really want to put one there. Ugh, now I can't put this last one here. This is kind of a little bit irritating, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh man, um, I really want to put one there, but I, I had to have some space between this and all this other stuff. Try that, and then that, and then... That leaves a buffer of two, though. I wonder... If we do that, can I at least get some room in here for another one? I'm wondering, hang on. Okay, this is clearly not right, like I need to have something going on here. But, I might be able to work that out. Hang on. If I keep the snake pattern down here, it, it might work out. And also, even though there's one there, I need to actually maximize all of this. Okay, like that. Okay, so here... Oh, right, there's one too many. Okay. I guess we can do that. But in doing so, I'm going to need to actually do something with this. So let's... Let's do that. Hmm. Okay, that seems a bit better, but I'm still a little uncertain. I really want to just not hook this like that, because that seems to be wasting space. But at the same time, I've got this to worry about, too. Okay, there. I can do that. There's two left. Okay, I think I can do this. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Um, I obviously need to put something around here, but I just don't know how I'm going to pull it off. 
Oh. Game, you are cruel. Let's try this. Oh, that's too many now. That's too many. Ugh, okay. Okay, if I were to... No, I can't do that either. Okay, I need to reevaluate how I'm connecting these to the ones that are in place. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to use a hint, but I feel like I really shouldn't be using a hint on a puzzle like... Okay, there we go. I'll, I can put that there, but I still need to make this last group work. It's just one more. Okay, hang on. Let me... Okay, let me localize that to that there. Oh, man. If it weren't for this... This would be amazing. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see what happens here. If I connect those and... Oh, that's not going to work either, is it? Okay, let's just clear out everything here for the middle. I think the edges are pretty good. I think the edges are pretty good. It's just this middle area, because the edges have a buffer of one between them, which is what we want, right? Except, I might be able to do even better. Hang on. Let's try that. Now, let's see if we can get something a little bit more workable here. I think I may have made it worse. <laughs> I think I may have made it worse. Or not, I, I'm still missing one. Uh, I'm just, I'm not happy about the way this turned out. That's my main qualm right now. This right here is not good. But maybe if I do something here with this... Ah, oh, there's no way I can't connect those with one of these. Um, and I want to keep this isolated from this side, so that's an issue too. This sounds like great sailing music. You know, there's a certain genre of music that's just... You know it's sailing music. It's... It's hard to explain, but it's got that kind of jig-like sound, you know? Uh, okay, th there has to be something I'm missing here. There has to be something I'm missing. Uh, I just don't know what, though. I, I don't want to connect anything to anything else right over here, but maybe that's... Maybe I need to adjust this over here. All this stuff. Like that, okay. Alright, so now it comes down to all this. Oh, that may have been a bad idea. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, not terribly th excited with this. I I kind of want to get a hint now. The crow's nest. Did that. Oh, okay. Well, we discovered the importance of it, but I ha I don't have a wait. I don't have a thing here for this. Oh man, I'm really gonna have to do this now, aren't I? Can't check. Can't check that off yet. Okay. Hmm. Well. That is just peachy. Hmm. Oh, man. We are so close to being done. We are so close to being done with this, guys. And here we're hitting our heads against a wall. Okay, maybe this the trick to this top section is just to... Well, no, there needs to be stuff here. Oh, 
that just doesn't seem right. I need to make sure that this is all contained there. Now this looks terrible. See, now that I've done it like that, there's this whole cluster here that can't be used. And it just doesn't seem right. Oof. Now we're missing two. I think I just successfully managed to make this worse. Okay, now I'm missing one. Alright. So we can have these clusters of four, but... Oh, there's still something very wrong with this, isn't there? Okay, where can we adjust something? Okay, I can put one there instead of there. Now... How, can, how does that help us now? I have a feeling that this is right, or at least very close to being right. So, it's just a matter of everything else. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to mess this up too much, but... There! Got it, alright, excellent. What do we have here? Uh... Oh. It's Soren, and he looks injured. Oh no. Oh boy, guys. And we got ourselves a uh, gear, wooden gear. All right. All right. Well, we got that. So I think we're gonna continue in the next video and find out more about what is going on with everyone here. Soren, with uh, Gunnar going out into the sea. We'll find out everything that we need to know in the next video, guys. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that puzzle took a while, but thankfully we got it done. I'll see you guys on the flip side. So until then, take care, and I'll catch you next time.